Hello and welcome to this demonstration of creating a PowerShell script to back up Enterprise Vault. My name is Phil Walters, I'm a consultant working for a company called Adeptech. So the first thing I'm going to do is to run a PowerShell script called transformbackup.ps1 so that I can create a batch file to back up my Enterprise Vault server. So I've already got the Enterprise Vault management shell open and the first thing I need to do is to allow unsigned scripts to run. So the script is in the folder C Program Files x86 Enterprise Vault Reports Templates. So I'm actually running the script now. So I'm just going to run it once. And take a short while to, to finish running. So you'll notice that when the script finishes running, it opens up an Internet Explorer window. And in that window is all the backup commands that are valid for my particular Enterprise Vault site. And all I need to do is highlight the particular lines and copy them into a batch file. So for instance, this first one here is to set backup mode on the whole site. And this is to clear backup mode for the whole site. And these are for vault stores. Okay, so set vault store backup mode. And there'll be equivalent commands for indexes as well. So here's for the indexes. So what I want to do is to put all my vault stores and all my index locations into backup mode. So what I'm going to do is to copy this command. And open up Notepad. And also, I need to copy the one for index locations as well. So that's right down the bottom here. This one here. There are other um, commands in there for backing up individual vault stores or vault store groups. So you can pick and choose the particular commands that you want to use. Now, if I try and execute this now, it won't work because I need to run the 32-bit version of PowerShell. So I need to specifically add the path for the 32-bit version of PowerShell. So that's what I'm going to do now. Right, I'm going to copy that to the other command. And I'm then going to save the file. Call it UV backup dot bat. And I'm going to start a command prompt. And run the batch file. So 
So it seems to successfully set backup mode on all vault stores and on all index locations. But let's go to the admin console now and check. I've already got it open. So to go to the index locations, if you go under services and then properties of the indexing service, then you'll notice that they're now marked as being in backup mode. And if we go to vault store groups and select our vault store group, you'll notice that both of our vault stores are in backup mode. So that shows that the script has actually run successfully. What I'm going to do now is to edit the script to add in a line to run a backup using Windows Server Backup in this case. I've already created a schedule backup in before I started this demonstration. So all I need to do is use a command line to start the backup. So I'm just going to put that in and then I'm going to add in the extra two lines to clear backup mode after the backup is successfully completed. I need to find the two lines within Internet Explorer to copy those in. So the clear backup mode for the whole site, it's this one here. So that one's for the vault stores. And I also need to find the one for the index locations as well. Which is right down here at the bottom. And the final thing I need to do is to copy and paste that extra path. So just check that that is correct. Yeah, that looks good. So let's just save that file. And let's run it again. So you can see it's now put the system into backup mode and it's now completing the backup. And then after that's done, it should take the vault stores and the index locations out of backup mode. So the backup is successfully completed, so let's now go and just check that it has actually taken both the vault stores and the index locations out of backup mode. So first of all, let's check the index locations. So if we go to properties, the indexing service, index locations, you can see backup mode is now cleared. And if we go to the vault store groups, you can see that backup mode is cleared on the vault stores as well. So that brings to the end of this short demonstration of how to create a PowerShell script to backup Enterprise Vault. Thanks for listening.